Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to part two of my huge uh, Goodwill bins haul. If you guys missed part one, um, basically this is a, a little over 100 pounds that I bought at the Goodwill outlet um, here in the Seattle area. I went last weekend and I spent about an hour and a half there, spent $200, it's $1.79 per pound at my location and I got a lot of stuff. So in part one, I showed you guys like half of it, the stuff that I've already hung up to get ready to start listing. And today I'm gonna to show you all the stuff that I haven't hung yet because my rack is full. So <laughs> um, it's about half anyway, so it was a good spot to split it. Okay, this first bag actually, I am going to be sending to the real real. So I have it, if that would stay, I have it separated. Um, so oh yeah, let's go through that stuff. So the first thing is this silk tank top and it is by the brand worth and it's a size two um all this came from the same bin obviously from the same donation um here is another item it's worth again it's a size four it's a wool full zip jacket really really nice really well made um this is a brand that they take at the real real it's the brand i don't really like to sell because it does not move very quickly so i will just send it to them when i have it usually um i think i might have a couple pieces listed but another worth size eight blazer really nice dark charcoal gray color all right another worth it's all worth it's all the same brand um this one's a size four 96 percent wool and it is a, another blazer is it a button yeah it's a button-up blazer interesting color and then it has this like leather trim on it that has an animal print all right, more worth. This one is a sweater cardigan. It's a size medium, 100% cotton. Oh, this one needs lint rolled. I'll have to do that before I send it off. It's got strings on it. Anyway, just a black cardigan. Everything from this pile was in fantastic condition, so. All right, next is, this is in the wrong bag, I believe. Oh no, this, I was gonna see if they take this one. Um, I did get this at the bins as well, but it's Norma, Norma Carmali. This is a higher end brand, but they did, she did do a collab with Walmart and I don't know how to tell the difference between the Walmart label and her high end label. So if you guys know, tell me, but it's a size medium. It's a nice cardigan. So I thought I would check to see if they take this. Um, so yeah, that's that <clears throat> more worth back to worth. This one is a size extra. It's just an XP. Is that like extra small petite? That must be an extra small petite. Anyway, um, cardigan sweater and it has the um, contrast with this like quilted thing to it and the, yeah, elbow patches. Anyways, also needs lint rolled really bad. Okay, next, this is a leather skirt. Again, this is the brand Wool, Wool Worth. Hello, Worth. 100% genuine leather and it is like a green um, python print knee length skirt. So, okay, that was all of the stuff going to the real real. Onto some less exciting stuff. Um, here's just a pair of plaid trouser pants and these are just the brand A New Day size eight. I got these based on style, so Anyway, they're a really cute, like wide leg trouser pant. So I'll use the dark academia term. It's not a brand I like selling, but I couldn't leave them behind. And they have an attached belt too. I thought they were cute. <clears throat> Next, this is a pair of J brand jeans. They're really tiny, but I couldn't find a size on them. So I'll have to measure them, but they're really, really small. Probably a 23, I'm guessing, or maybe a children's size, I'm not sure. Next is a Tahari um, little fluted black career style skirt. Next, these are Tommy Bahama shorts. And I don't know if these are men's or women's. I think they're men's. They're a size 32 and they're a silk blend. So those are pretty nice. All right, next is another skirt. This one is the brand Sundance. It's a size six and it is a linen blend and it's a really pretty purple midi length skirt. All right, next we got some jeans. These are a men's pair of jeans. They're a DKNY size 38, 32, and they're called the Duan, Duan Street Fit. And they're a dark wash jean. Okay, next is a pair of kids um, 
snow pants and they're just a plain black and they are Columbia and they're a size six, seven and they're in excellent condition. All right, next a pair of denim. These are just wild fable, um, size four, but they're really cute high rise mom jean. And there's two of the exact same size in a different wash. So I figured I would grab them and lot them together. Here's the other pair. So I'm just gonna lot them together. I don't typically pick up this brand, but um, yeah. Next is a pair of vintage, vintage Juicy Couture Velour pants. Um, these are very Y2K. I will use the Y2K in the description and they're blue. There's the snap pockets in the back. I remember these being really popular. All right, next I have a pair of Madewell jeans and these are the 10 inch high rise skinny in a size 27. Pretty basic in great condition though. Okay, moving on, more denim. <clears throat> this is a pair of vintage Levi's. They're a 531 in a size 34, or I'm sorry, 31, 34. Here's a pair of American Eagle jeans and they are the Tom Girl, Tom Girl jean. They're in really good condition. Okay, next is another pair of Levi's. These are 505 and they're a size 3830. Really good condition. I'm not gonna unroll all of these jeans because yeah, they're just jeans, but they're in good condition. All right, next up is a pair of J. Crew Chino shorts and a double zero. A little navy blue pair. More American Eagle, and these are the Jiggings in a size six with a raw hem. Okay. And <clears throat> more American Eagle. These are the mom jeans in a size 10. I love pick picking up American Eagle from the bins. It usually sells fairly quickly. Next is a pair of Hollister black jeans. These are a men's 34-34. And they have some distressing in good condition. American Eagle, little pair of cutoff white shorts, distressed on them. All right, next, this is a pair of pink Fabletics and they are an ankle fit. And what size are they? These, oh, I don't know what size they are. The <laughs> Fabletics, you know how that is. They cut the tag out and you don't know the size. So we'll have to measure those, but, oh, I thought there was a stain, but it was just a fuzzball. Next is another pair of American Eagle. These ones are the high rise jagging with some distressing and regular hem on those. All right, next is a pair of Levi's. These are a knit jogger. I thought they were interesting though because they have like the actual patch on the back even though they're a jogger pant. There we go, but they're in good condition. All right, and then we also have a pair of American Eagle um, Chino shorts in a size eight. And they're just like this whitish cream color. Alrighty. Okay. Next is a jacket. This is a Columbia really big jacket. It's like a winter black and gray jacket. Super heavy, you guys. I paid quite a bit for this probably since it's so heavy. And I feel like the hood is inside of here, but let me just make sure. It felt like it was there, but I didn't double check. Oh yeah, it's there. That's good. All right, so yeah, it has its hood. It's a large size, or size large men's. Jacket in excellent condition. All right, next is a little dress. I got this actually because I thought my daughter would want it and she didn't, so now I'll just sell it. Um, it's just a Wild Fable extra, extra large, little plaid, like peasant style dress, like green and yellow, I thought that was cute. I got a couple bras. This one is the brand Third Love. I actually found a whole pile of these and I gave a few to my daughter and I'm gonna sell a couple of them. But this one is a size 32F. And then this one is another Third Love. And this one is obviously black. And this is a size 42E. Next is this thermal, green thermal top with a like knotted front. I really think that's super cute. The brand is Anthropology Akimi and Ken, and it's a size small. Next is this striped sweater. 
and it is like a wide neck here, like a boat neck. Um, the brand is Torrid. It's a size two. Really cute. This here is a jacket from, this brand I didn't recognize, but it looked like it might be something, so I took a chance on it. It doesn't actually have that great of comps, but I'll still sell it. It's um, Kumar. Kumar? It says Italy on it, so that's why I was like, hmm, and it's kind of a tacked on tag, which sometimes means quality. But anyways, it's just this utility style jacket, um, kind of a army green color. Um, but yeah, I think the comps, the comps were only around like $20 for that. Oops, that came in the wrong pile. All right, almost done. Next, this is another unique low piece. It's just a turtleneck, like a gray knit turtleneck. Another Polo Ralph Lauren piece. This is a size large men's brown, um, like a Henley type of sweater. That's super cute. This here is from BCBG Generation. And it's a really cute little summer dress. Very strappy, you have to figure the straps out, but it has these little ruffles, a little mini dress. I thought that was really cute. Okay, another turtleneck. This one is Banana Republic, um, size small. It says made out of Italian yarn. So it must be like a wool, merino wool maybe. Um, it's another like cowl neck. Um, oh, it's 45% wool and 10% cashmere with other materials. <laughs> This t-shirt I just thought was cute. Um, it's just like a little yellow Los Angeles t-shirt. I don't know the brand though. It's just Free State, size medium. I don't know, I just kind of grabbed that. Alrighty, just, that was it actually. This one came from a different haul. So that was everything. Woo, that was a long one. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.